Virgo, go for it. Whatever you're thinking, whatever that good new idea is, that inspiring project, collaboration, maybe there's a new lover you wanna go after, it's like whatever, go for it. I have a 10 of cups, I have a page of coins, I have an ace of swords, and the hangman, reverse, which means we're not feeling stuck. It means we're now feeling more empowered. The 10 of cups is saying whatever you're moving towards, Whatever that project is, that goal, I think you can easily achieve it and you will feel really satisfied later on. But maybe now uh, you're still in the baby stages. You're still in the baby stages, okay? It's not ready 100%. Maybe it hasn't even started yet, but I think you have this new perspective, maybe new information. Maybe there's some green light that you are now getting and you can go forward. Six of Swords here. And we're still wrapping up a couple things with the world here reverse. Six of Swords is saying mentally, we've already decided the next chapter or this month you will get a lot of clarity connected to whatever next steps need to happen. Um, but that world reverse saying we're still wrapping things up. Um, I feel like maybe we're just waiting for all of the pieces to arrive. Some of them have already arrived. Some of them you already have. Some of them you can borrow, bag or steal, whatever. But like, I feel like with the Queen of Swords here and you've got that Page of Cups reverse, the Queen of Swords, there's clarity, there's understanding, there's clear communication and documentation needed. Um, but I feel like we're still weeding out we're still weeding out the people who don't deserve to be here or the people who can't really commit or show up or support or provide us with something we need. It's just like this page energy, I feel like you're a queen. Like keep that in mind, okay? Um, it doesn't matter if you're your gender or how you identify, but you're showing up as the queen of swords, which is like, bitch, the queen of swords is very serious about their future, very serious about their plan of action. They know exactly what they want. They know exactly how to communicate it. And they're not scared to tell the truth. But when you are partnered with this other person who's maybe a little bit insecure or they understand that they are just not on your level, there is a clear imbalance and they're like, oh my God, I need to like pretend everything's fine, but really inside, I like, I can't do this. I don't know what I'm doing. And it's like, I don't think you have time for that, <laughs> especially with a four of cups here and an eight of cups. I feel like if you notice that other people are not ready or other people don't have skills or other people are just not prepared, you're just like, why am I wasting my fucking time with you, bitch? I'm a Virgo level up. So like six of coins, Ace of, or sorry, uh, Knight of Coins, like you're leveling up with or without them. <laughs> Six of Wands is saying you are finding better things to celebrate. You are excited about this next chapter and you are finding better balance. The new beginning is still coming. I think we're still clearing out. Yeah, we're still clearing out some of these old, we're still clearing out some old fears. It's fine. We have Chiron with this new moon. So yesterday we just had a new moon in Aries. You want to use that energy, okay? This is the new energetic year. We have finally actually begun. So we started a fresh cycle. Welcome to the new year. And it's the first new moon of that energetic year. So hello, Aries energy, Aries energy, okay? Fire, initiation, the spark new projects, new inspiration, new identity, new ideas, new, 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 new moon, okay? First new moon of the new energetic year. Use the energy. We also have the moon card here. So when you connect with yourself, your higher self, and you're connecting and you're establishing your intention, you can ask the universe to show you which direction you need to move towards so you can find all of that success, okay? So, Queen of Swords, get very clear. Maybe uh, make a mood board or a vision board. Um, put down your intentions on a list. It's like, take the new moon workshop. Click on the link in my bio. Take the new moon workshop. It's pay what you can. It's under 30 minutes. It's a home video. We've got these old ideas around work. Some of you are just like, I'm fucking done with this job. Oh my God. 
Some of you are fucking done, done with this old job or some of these old collaborators, or it could just be any person in your life that is bringing a lot of drama because I have the five of wands reverse here and the two of, co sorry, two of coins and the five of wands. And you've got the four of coins here, all reverse. It's like, I don't need to stay. It's that simple. I don't know why I thought I had to stay. Maybe up until now there was a contract or an obligation or something that made me think or made me feel I had to stay in this situation. But now, bitch, I'm out. <laughs> it's like, bye, good luck. Good luck not dying without me. <laughs> but like, they're gonna be dead. <laughs> Ten of Swords, they will figure it out, whatever. They are not your problem. They are not your issue. Your issue is leveling the fuck up, baby girl. It's like, your issue, your goal, your plan is to level up. Some of you are really understanding new ways to reinvent yourself, reinvent your structures, your systems. Like, I also have the seven of coins. The seven of coins is saying you need patience. It's like you're planting seeds. You are telling the universe what you want. It takes time to show up. It's not going to be really long. Like, oh my God. No, but like we do need some patience. And also if you're not seeing all of the results, just yet, don't stress because the results are coming. I promise, okay? We're just weeding out some of the bullshit. We're just now, we're just clearing out, like letting go and dropping some of the people, the bullshitters, um, the people who lie, the people who say they can do something but can't or they don't want to commit fully. It's just like wherever you thought you were stuck, <clears throat> I feel like maybe some other people's actions or behaviors made you like second guess yourself or made you feel stuck, but that's in your head, like two of swords. You feeling stuck is because you are limiting yourself. So that limit, get rid of it because you're the fucking emperor, bitch. Like the emperor, like you have all of the power. You have all of the control. You don't need um, to ask permission. You don't need approval. You don't need anything, especially from these fucking peasants. Like you don't need anything from these peasants. It's just like, let's not forget who you are right? Don't forget who you are, okay? This emperor energy, this emperor energy is also connected to Aries. So again, this new moon in Aries is going to be really helpful for you. Like, please establish your intentions with what you want to invite in for work. Some of you look like you are moving soon. <laughs> Do you know where? Maybe you don't. Eight of Swords. <laughs> don't stress about this next chapter. Some of your um, big um, heavy structures and foundations are changing for sure. I also feel like some spring cleaning would be really good for you and you're a Virgo. So like reorganize, re, um, I'm seeing like a lot of like, like Tupperware, like different, uh, little boxes and things like that. Like get organized. These two of, uh, yeah, two of cups reverse, six of cups reverse. So see their issues or emotions or feelings from the past from um, a really serious connection in your life. It could be um, a lover, friend, work, whatever, but it was someone who was really important to you for a long time. That person, that relationship, it didn't work. It wasn't, um, it wasn't benefiting you or it just really was heartbreaking. It could have been traumatic. It could have been an awful experience, whatever it is. I feel like that energy just stuck to you and it, it makes you second guess your value. It makes you second guess yourself. And that type of old program is coming up right now because you are clearing it, because you're actually replacing it and finding more power. You're finding yourself in a more powerful position now because you can look back and you can see, wow, that person really took advantage of me. Or wow, that person is actually fucking crazy and they projected their crazy onto me and I thought I was crazy or I thought I was not good enough or I thought I was limited, but really it was them being limited, them being not good enough, them being all the things that they thought about themselves, they projected onto me and now, bitch, get it off. It's like, clear it off. This new moon in Aries, this new moon in Aries is going to help you stand in your fucking power, Virgo. Use the new moon energy, okay? Take the workshop. The link is in my bio. I'm sending you so much 
love, Virgo, you've got this. You are good. You will survive and thrive, I promise. Also, if you are interested, finally, our shop is open. The t-shirts are now available. Sweaters, got jewelry, got a lot of beautiful things. And some smoke bundles, ethically sourced, locally grown, naturally foraged. They're ethically sourced. They are naturally grown. They are foraged in a respectful manner. Um, so many amazing new things started on this new year, new moon for me, for you. I love you. I'll see you very soon. Mwah.